into the game. I am joined by Sanders Dota. We just we were both in the lobby and decided co casting is better than alone, which is really helpful because I've been doing some of these solo and it gets rough. And the bands are flying out. Holy cow. Um well, yeah, that is a Doxia ban out. I think a lot of this looks pretty standard for this patch, though. Io also has been getting, uh, I think he has like a 70% win rate right now yeah, in the no, qualifiers. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> so Io, like, rocking shit, but also the Night Stalker. He has a huge win rate as well, so not surprised. Empire hadn't, I don't know if they picked him they up picked yet, because I was... Okay. I did all the I'd matches seen... from Empire. <laughs> I'm doing like a yeah, complete was... road of them, like every single match. Five seconds I did Lemon Dogs for a bit, and then once they got knocked out, there was an Empire game that was up at the same time as uh, Lemon Dogs ended, so I saw that. But Queen of Pain's still a really strong pickup. The other interesting thing to point out, I don't know very much about this Danish Bears lineup. I've seen some of their names. But I don't think they're as known as Empire, but I don't think it's unreasonable to expect like some upstarts to beat out uh, some new people to beat out the old people or anything, you know? Yeah, especially, well, they, they came so far already and they've, of course, beaten also strong teams. Was it before this? Danish Bears with a matchup against against Florida who, be, who won actually from a Hellraiser, so it's not a team to take lightly at all. Yeah, and Hellraiser's had... Yeah, they, like Hellraisers had also beaten Lemon Dogs. There's a lot of teams lying in the wake. I feel like it just happened to be a part of the bracket that was kind of difficult. Um, yeah. <laughs> just one line of the bracket that was a bit rough. So either way, we're taking a really long time on this next pickup. And a Visage. I wasn't expecting that at all. I think it's a very powerful hero in the right hands. Uh, and maybe this could be trending towards a Drow lineup, or at least forcing out the Drow ban. Most likely, uh, yeah. If you have a Queen of Pain in your lineup, you tend, yeah, you want to uh, at least ban out that hero. But still, even then, if they pick it up for Empire, it's not the biggest problem. As this combination, Nate Stock Bane, they have run this at least twice already. And having this combination, it means if you have a draw, they will just run at you. They're not really that yeah. scared. Having nighttime as well, draw will be will be eaten alive in the first and second nighttime. Yeah. So it's going to be. All a lot dependent on that first night time, but as we've seen before, Five it can be really uh, valuable to have the Bane as well. Sorry, I'm trying to fix up my Moobot commands, but I will no, no problem, in a second. No <laughs> um, Bane, really strong all around. Heaps of CC, really great against a Queen of Pain. It feels like you want to jump in and be aggressive, but Bane will Fiends grip you or Nightmare you. So. Indeed, let's see. I'm just gonna look up a quick stat here on uh, Danish Bears. Uh, how much they've run actually the Visage? Because I don't know. Him. I'm not completely known at their place, but okay, they've run it twice, and one was actually indeed in combination with the uh, Drow Strat. Yeah, but it's they pretty... didn't pick up the Queen. So. It's common to see him either way. I've seen a lot of folks play Visage with or without the Drow. It really just depends on how well that player can micro. And we've actually got a Bounty Hunter ban out in the third round he's a hero it feels like people still don't know where he stands after the patch so he finally gets banned out and the undying i have seen a number of teams try to rush the agonims undying it has an abysmally low win rate yeah it's, it's an item that's when you get it it's great but the problem is the build up to it is first of all weird on an undying second of all you can't rush it rushing it it means sacrificing too many things you tend to be the the mech carrier the one that saves the team fight Getting an agonim is just all saying, yeah, the whole game is about me. And if you then don't get the, the, the nice DK stacks off, you're dead. Because if you don't hit at least two or three heroes, it's still pretty minimal that you can do with it. So, it, um, and I've even seen some folks just, they don't max it, even though I'm used to that being the build for sure. Either way, we're going to be finally getting into some more picks. The Rubik ban, I think, just because they might pick more heroes that jump in. Danish bears still have room for more heroes that want to blink in and so on. And of course, Queen of Pain punished by the instant cost point on Rubik. Also, these are two uh, bans directed at lower dance. Disruptor and the Rubik, that is. He has been playing... Let's see, I think he played Disruptor two times now and... A, and also twice the Rubik, and one time with Rubik he even got a Rampage. Five of course it's a tier, tier 10 team that he played against, but still, getting a Rampage on a Rubik is not an easy feat. This yeah. is just respect so. band there as well. Yep. 
<laughs> Still uh, struggling with the Moobot commands. Oh uh, yeah, just a couple of things I had to handle in chat, but no, nope, we're getting back into the- it's a Spirit Breaker. I like this pickup, he's an all-around very aggressive hero. Um, I think he's a lot of fun, but definitely I don't know exactly where he fits in this lineup. Offline. I think though, yeah, he could be offlane, he could be support, but I guess he synergizes well with the slows coming out of both Visage and Queen of Pain. They should be able to get some good kills off. So. Ten seconds remaining. so it's also I always find it ballsy when people pick Spirit Breakers into a Night Stalker Five just because you have so minimal vision, and it's the hero that it works the best when you have a great amount of vision. If, if Night Stalker has an X, and then a jam next to it, uh, Spirit Breaker becomes near uh, useless because you can make this long straight line over the map. You don't know what you're gonna run into. It just makes it so much more dangerous. But. They I don't do have think a slight they vision. Hmm? Oh, I was just gonna say, I think they do have a slight vision advantage on Empire, of course, with the nighttime against the Spirit Breaker. So that should help out a little bit. Two of the familiars uh, as well for Danish, so maybe yeah, something with a um, BOT play could work out. That's another thing to mention, right? We've seen a lot of funky bots action where you bots in onto familiars or onto other heroes, and so it could actually be that the disruptor Rubik ban is because this might be an offlane co-op into a mid Ember or something. Yeah, Team Ember, right? they just actually played uh, that hero, so they might do it as well as. He's very popular. He wasn't nerfed at all in the patch, and while he didn't get any buffs either, he's always been pretty strong. He just generally loses the match up in mid he just has to rely later on farming yeah they tend to put him more into the save lane now as well get him that guaranteed farm guaranteed levels well levels are pretty much always guaranteed anyway but still yeah it's questionable to put him in the safe lane just because of the whole you know you get more levels in mid but we have seen a lot of teams do it just from more farm so Lina Bane. I'm not. I'm not really one because they tend to put Night Stalker and Bane as a combination in the off lane. I think Lina. I think that Lina might either be the support or the mid lane. I don't think. I, I don't even think that it might even be the support here. A Night Stalker on the off lane and put something else for mid. They tend to run really aggressive uh, uh, lineups. Team Empire. So I wouldn't be too surprised about that. Let's see, they still haven't banned out the Shadow Fiend as an option for Team Empire. They've picked it up a couple of times, so... As well as the Razor. They even have uh, the witch. at the game. Oh, yeah? Oh, I really like the Witch Doctor pick up here. I just think you need a lot of CC for something like a Bane and a Night Stalker and a Lina. So even though it's like really iffy um, on the bounces, it's still really nice to get that, so... And the gyrocopter pick up. I just saw Empire wipe the, the previous game, right? They wiped that gyrocopter. It feels like he can be very strong, but he needs... He, he has this mid-game period, and he doesn't actually go super late game. So I'd be interested to see what happens here. Yeah, they were actually almost caught off guard here in that game with the Divine. <laughs> it just yeah. mopped up three of them instantly, so... Yeah, yeah at the is. very end, it was <laughs> a very dominant performance, so... Five seconds remaining. Yeah, gonna be, oh, just going to be interesting either way to see how Danish Bears responds to this. They haven't shown their hard carry at all. With something like a Spirit Breaker, it might be a, a Spectre that you go for, right? Just with that global presence you can have. Aren't you going a little bit too greedy then? Because you're going to be laying against a Night Stalker plus one. Having just a yeah, Witch, Witch Doctor is not to. enough visage. I think... Uh, which Doctor Visage could actually run in an... Okay, they go with a Slaughter. I think a Spectre isn't too greedy at all, just because they didn't have any other greed picks, and they can always rotate the lanes around, and I think the Witch Doctor Visage should be enough to keep her safe, but a Slaughter instead... I've mostly been seeing this guy recently in the meta played off lane. That um, would be uh, weird. Because then you just make popular. a Bane with Gyrocopter lane, and... You just stay just barely outside the range of the crush, and even if you stay inside, you stand near the tower side, and you still have to run through the yeah. entire rocket barrage. And if you I don't think it'll yeah. be picked this lane, no, this game is off lane, but most of where I've seen him previously. A lot of teams not favoring Slaughter as a hard carry, so I'm really interested to see what item build he goes to stay viable. 
though. I'm really surprised they didn't just go with the drow, even though I understand Night Stalker can just run at you, but it feels like... He's too squishy. Drow. Yeah, Very Valina. squishy, but I think a bit better of a hard carry than Slaughter, just because what do you buy on the Slaughter to become a hard carry? You build up the AC, you build up, I guess, Assange and Yasha, a Blink, a BKB. So I'm not... I'm not sure how many damage items you can easily get. And it's the Shadow Fiend. Um, Yoki's very comfortable on this hero, so... Yeah, I was already thinking, yeah, they're gonna pick up that one. They, mi they, they need a mid laner, yeah. As I thought, no fear position 5, Bane is gonna be with Lina position 4, resolution on the offlane Night Stalker. So, either way, uh, I think... Well, we have to assume, we don't even know if these teams are evenly matched. It's really hard to tell in such a big bracket like this one, what exactly are the skill levels of everyone involved. In the, on paper, you would say Team Empire. Like, it's the known team, known players. They have performed before, so... I would still favor them. Also, with the draft of Danish Bears, it's a little bit unimaginable. Uh, it's always... It's just they need to snowball. If they don't snowball, Danish Bears need to probably GG out in, like, 30 minutes or so. If they're not ahead, it's... If they're, yeah. not, they're not gonna win from a Gyrocopter Shadow Fiend in the late game. At the same time, I don't know whether if the gyro gets caught out at all, you know, and then also you have things where we've seen Queen of Pains maybe scale well. Uh, we need to rehost. Okay. Ticket is bucked. Okay, yeah. then we do that. Well, it's good. So we will rehost. Now they're going to rehost the uh, also OD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But I mean, like, we will leave. So I will put us to music. So. And then we will be right back, folks. Yeah, that was, I'm pretty sure it was on the in-game ticket. I saw it on the in-game ticket, so I think they actually rehosted to get Good Studio in. Um, yeah, most likely. Not uncommon, but either way, we're going to be having the players pick up their heroes. We've rehosted all pick. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of it just depends on that first night, right? And we've seen Night Stalkers do fantastic things in that first night, but if you don't get off a good first night, the heroes... Usefulness is really lowered, so we'll see. Yeah, I think it also depends on how his laying phase goes. If he, if they already see as a team like, okay, Night Stalker's not going to be near level 4 when the first night comes, then they might just set the aggression off a little bit through the Night Stalker and just use the Bane at Lina to rotate in onto that lane. Instead of using Night Stalker to go somewhere else. That's also a possibility that they could do if Night Stalker is not having the greatest of time. Yeah. So... Danish Bears just need to grab their lost hero. Come on, come on, let's do it. Do it, guys. Uh, yeah, um, pretty, pretty standard remake business. Um, Always oh, this so... one person that doesn't know it. <laughs> oh no, not even doesn't know it. You got like I think one of my favorites is you got like people who will be AFK during the picks. There are a lot of teams where they do. Uh, Alright, one of them just goes through tours and is like, yeah. yeah, just show me what hero I got later on. I'm okay exactly. with Exactly. Like, I've seen that a lot, where that's actually why we have the early pause, so... Either way, I'll introduce Danish Bears, so you can introduce okay, Empires. Got we've got Rise on that Visage, we've got Monster Risk on the Witch Doctor, Noya on the Spirit Breaker, Calcula yeah, Calculus on Queen of Pain, and finally Ace on Slaughter. I'm tossing it over to you to introduce Empire. And for the Empire here on the Dire, this is actually the first game for Empire on the Dire side. All games have been on Radiant. We have No Fear playing Bane. We have Resolution playing his Night Stalker again. That leaves Yoki on the Shadow Fiend, Aloha Dance on the Lina, and Silent on the Gyrocopter. Yeah, and I prefer. I've seen a couple of support Night Stalkers as well. I kind of prefer the offlane Night Stalker, although. You have to be really careful, I think, when you play it. I've seen a couple of heroes miss out on farm because of it. They will um, go gank a bunch, and if the ganks don't get secured, you don't get any experience. So out of that first night, you're still only level 5 or something at 8 minutes in. But it all really depends on how successful you can be. Yeah, that's true. We'll see how it goes. And this is a ward. I, I still don't get it. The, uh, the ward here at the uh, Radiant Asians. It's always put them it, down there. It's it, I get that you get a little bit more vision over there, but uh, I would I never think it's worth it because they they ward it just as easily and it's even easier to do. 
Yeah, it's certainly a ward spot that people catch, but yeah, it really is just for the extra vision. Um, and it gives you a little bit more in the mid lane as well. So I think it's, it is for spotting rotations with the smokes. It's just a little bit norther and it spots more uh, smokes. Sorry. And we have a pause. Oh, yeah. So. Rare usual. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the first, uh, first uh, pause we had. Yeah. We. Pretty common in these, you know, things ranging from in-game lag to uh, troubles with their team speaks that they're using, because a lot of people do this through team speak and so on. So, um, just a lot of a lot of problems, in general, that can happen in Dota. But both teams will wait it out, and if they wouldn't, there would be big fat admins around to make sure that they do. Yeah, well, so. if something is wrong, well, I just blame it on Lofa. Gotta blame it on someone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, they... he actually started the lobby before the Chinese caster could be, uh, get back in. <laughs> it just got messaged from him on Skype. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. I think it was wanting to get things underway, but if they have to rehost again, um, I know also there are sometimes during the day it's like really weird lag issues. So. Yeah, I actually had a sound issue all day long. On the stream, like yesterday, I had nothing, and today, after there was an update yesterday, but for some weird reason, my in game sound was like one second behind everything else. Really weird. Oh, yeah, that's a reborn bug. So. Uh, I guess I, I should have started Dota. That one. I haven't restarted Dota yeah. all day. Always good to restart frequently, fix all of that stuff up. There is a reborn issue with sound lag. Um, there also can be an issue with, I don't know whether you, what you. Stream with, but I know OBS. OBS also has an issue sometimes where you have to force nope. it to sync the yeah. video. Yeah, I usually um, just so... put down the the bitrate and then it's okay. Yeah, sometimes you have to manually sync it and uh, play. So, but we will just keep waiting for the pause. Uh, folks arguing whether the lag is good or bad. Yeah. Empire being a little bit pushy, but in the end, uh, you have about 15 minutes or 10 minutes of, of break time if, uh, per game, so they can take that if they want. Nothing for yeah, totally to up to them. Yeah. And even then, Empire can say, okay, take another minute or five from us. Seeing how they're responding, they might not do that. Also, they're all their rights, of course, so. And. Yeah, uh, so just looking at these two teams, I think that it. the other thing that I worry about with Danish Bears lineup is, yeah, they have this Spirit Breaker, but it still seems like it's going to be really hard to get the smoke rotations. They're a little bit more difficult with the Witch Doctor Visage than I think with a Bane, Lena, just because Bane, the Nightmare, can hit from quite far away and it ensures the Light Strike Array. Whereas with the Coconuts into the Grave Chill, you're just relying on mass slows to get a kill. It's questionable. Yeah, you you also need to hope that there is something else next to it. <laughs> Just to get like a one creep or something that can bounce on or the two man rotation in that you can yeah. catch off guard or something along those lines. But yeah. Nightmare into LSA is just so much easier. Even if they switch over the aggro, if you're catching it on time, you can just stop your LSA and throw it on the other person. Apart from the Queen of Pain, nobody can really get out. Maybe Spear Break if you can get a fast enough charge. But... I think the other thing is that they can, if the Spirit Breaker rotates, kill off Yoki, but again, he has to be very careful with these rotations because otherwise he has the same issue as Night Stalker. If you do this ganking business too much, you're also going to be losing out on your farm and experience. Yeah, that's it. Night Stalker, yeah, you can see there's no fear is going to be here in, on bot anyway. So, as he's going to do dual lane, as, as it seems like Witch Doctor is going to be in mid to help out the Queen of Plane. I think it will go uh, away from there fairly fast. What do you think of this? Yoki actually went for Shadow Raises first over uh, Necromancy. Um, it's pretty common he went the false bottle rush build. That's why he also bought the items he did. Uh, it's pretty typical, you just try to uh, buy very few. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like how they're arguing over what is fine and what isn't. I feel like only the players get to decide, but that's just my opinion. Um, I was gonna say, I think that it's 
the build where you try to just get your level two quickly and make sure okay we're rehosting <laughs> okay we, i'm we gonna send a message real fast to the chinese caster yeah um but you you make sure that you can get that early um bottle and then you just get souls using rays so yeah we do want to leave this game wow another rehost so exciting this is the most rehosts i've ever been involved in really look at you yeah i uh most of my games just start very late i normally ca call stuff for join dota league not too much goes wrong now yeah. but i'm in the new lobby it is up good i'm gonna join them now Make sure the Chinese caster gets in. Yeah, I spam messaged him. Let's see if he responds on time. So, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go over to Stockholm. Yeah, I don't actually know if that'll be... I know nothing about the EU server issues because I'm US West. It's so. always issues. Let's, let's give it up. <laughs> Every server is issues. Yeah, we're pretty lucky uh, over here. It feels like US doesn't have too, as many, or at least I never feel it. But then again, I play on like a million ping and don't even care. So. Yeah, I get annoyed because was it I okay he's in. Finally he's there. Oh my TV buns one. Huh. Anyhow, yeah, I don't know, I, I play on five MS. So I don't super mind either way. We should be going into this game shortly. I Oh, we're missing a player. I didn't notice that. No, that's not Ace, uh, I was just like, why aren't we gone? All the, oh, the casters are here. Yeah, okay, Master Risks, he's in here. We, we got everybody now. Okay, Excellent. we can do it. Guessing up against JD Studio here. There are only... Four, uh, yeah, two matches being played now. Wondering who has yeah. the other match. Um, some other, I think somebody else is casting it off of Dota TV. Unfortunately, not very many, like... Yeah, I... I'm also gonna try to cast the America's stuff, because I have a friend playing in those qualifiers that I'm really hoping does well. But, Wait. um... Oh, Dop Dop, he's on Team Root. Oh, You'll Root. probably know Team Root as the one with Wagamama. Mama, so... Uh, yeah. Well, I know it as that now, but I knew the other players before as well. I don't really tend to cast it too often, though. They are mostly European S and SEA Dota. Um, but... <laughs> okay, maybe we can finally have a game on our hands. They picked their heroes. I don't know if it's happening. I, I don't want to say that it's happening. Okay, now that we've started again, do you still favor Empire's Light? <laughs> 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 After that one minute of gameplay we got to see. I don't, I don't know, there were some questionable plays there. Bane had to reuse the courier to get the circlet delivered. I don't know about that. It's showing some poor management skills. It's... Yeah, I don't know about it anymore. But no, it, it should be the exact same anyway. It's kind of annoying that when everybody still has picked their heroes, you're still waiting for the, the one minute cooldown. Yeah, I thought it was meant to load us in. I've been in some games, I think there's a hotkey you can press yeah, yeah. to load us in, but... I always forget the key anyway. So, either way, I don't know what's gonna be happening. I... Yes. Okay. Um, is it happening? Alt yeah, enter, casual. <laughs> yeah, they're telling him, they're like, holy shit, we want to start the game. <laughs> We're finally in, guys. We're finally in. No fear, uh, firing some shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah they just like it was rised. Okay, we're we're in, and I we've already introduced the players once. We've got the exact. Oh, actually, I think this ward was to the left last time. Yeah, it was I more like know. over here, I think. Yeah. We so downwards. we do have one change. The game has already changed. Uh, we were talking about Shadow Fiend's build. He went the exact same build. It's just so that you can raise down creeps, get a false bottle. You count on getting the bounty rune as well, though. It actually really sucks if you don't get the bounty rune it makes it much harder so is it having a lena here on top to probably guarantee it no fear it's just gonna go block it up anyway and yeah, they're not gonna stop the the rune they're just gonna have the gentleman's agreement like it's usually called and both take one size rune without really any contest how's the sentry status yeah. do they have one I... visage 
Yeah, they do. Yeah, they'll probably check for the D wards. I mean, it's okay. This ward, I actually, it, they got seen. They got totally seen. But yeah, this, this one it's was a nice idea. Heavily. Yeah, it's a nice idea because you can get it somewhat sneakily. Unfortunately, he was seen. So I do like that attempt there. But either way, so finally gonna. Finally gonna get into it. Um, and the other reason I like the Shadow Fiend Bottle Rush build is he's against a Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain has naturally got a lot of damage. So the odds that you're gonna get a lot of CS off of her at this level of play, it's pretty low, right? So he's like, look, I will just go with raises and hope it works out. It dep depends of if this Queen of Pain plays like Yoki plays. He plays overly aggressive on the, uh, on the Queen of Pain from time to time. Up to the point that he either dies or gets a kill half of the time, so it's... We'll see how it goes. But it's a matchup he is. They both actually should know. Yeah, and although... In the meantime though, there's actually going down bottom Bane, like, going super aggressively on Visage, so... Hey, nothing really comes of it, but Visage, like, backed all the way up, seeing Bane there. And now, Monster, Ri Monster Risk coming in, doing some auto attacks. I don't think even with all three, their odds of killing Night Stalker are very good. He's very tanky, has a lot of armor. Yeah, and he already got two mangoes as well. Oh my goodness, yeah, he got a buff to his uh, life, uh, his health regen lost patch, and two mangoes. Oof. It's uh, up to four now. With a tango, it's about 14. In the meantime, SF getting very low in mid, but of course he does have that salve to make sure. Yeah, they're gonna this try gonna and go for him, but uh, I don't think this is gonna happen. They're gonna do a lot of damage, but they're not able to really pursue down on this. And yeah. do, okay, he starts with five armor. It's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, so. Stout shield next yeah. to it as well. And now with eating a tango, we can just see he's regenerating up super fast. And yeah, it's rough. There comes another coconut, though. It should be much easier to go on this bane. The Night Stalker can't really stop them. Slithering Crush comes out, and now they just need a few more auto attacks. He does get the brain sap off, getting a lot of life back. Two more auto attacks. Oh, they don't manage to get the second one, and Bane walks away with like 10 health. Uh, more like 30. Yeah, now so. straight up, all re regenerations, all clarities are being popped. I need to get more mana up. No fear, is just looking for somebody to take away some mana from, or some HP. So. Um. Better than a Buddhist. Yeah, but the, at the moment, this offlane is just A-OK. -okay. Like, get, going on top of these two is going to be hard, especially later at Gets, they're just going to get a higher level in Brain Sap. It's just one and a half minute left until the night, and then they will have to actually play fairly defensively on the side of Danish Bears. They'll almost likely yeah. rotate Alina in straight away. The Night Stalker is just going to become more of a pain. Now, the saving grace for Danish Bears is they did run Night Stalker in this dueling. Oh, they so might he's actually kill have... uh, the Spear Breaker. Okay, he gets away in charge for some time. Yeah, he's gonna cancel that. They do stun out resolution. I don't think there's any follow-up. Because they ran him in a dual lane, he's gonna have a lot harder time um, hitting those early levels before the first night. He might not even be level 4. Yeah, that's the sacrifice, but on the other hand, if they didn't run a double, uh, dual lane here, he would have died. Uh, he wouldn't have been getting any XP at all. So, it's just something that you have to take for granted. Yeah, now Bane coming to contest the pull, but he may, might be out in no man's land. Where is the cost? The cost does come out. There's gonna be a slithering crush. This is a very dead Bane. This will be your first blood. And just like that, things turning around. I'm actually not sure if the Bane needs to be here. I feel like the Night Stalker, just because of how tanky he is, maybe could get away, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure. There's a lot of... It's hard to gauge how much a hero is really doing in lane uh, in this situation. And Quop almost... Takes two raises to the face from Shadow Fiend, so Yoki bringing some of the hurt to Quap. Yeah, Seth, uh, he, he knows how to play Quap. I think he played a couple of times today already, yeah. so. Shadow Fiend is actually bottle crowing. I didn't realize it was this painful for him in lane, so. Having a rough time there. So, um, let's look up at net worth. It looks like it's, oh, actually a thousand ahead for Empire. I'm a little bit surprised by this. I didn't expect them to be doing so much better, but it looks like the Gyrocopter's free form really helping them out there. As well as uh, Shadow Fiend is actually crushing in CS in mid as well. Seven more, five denies. Especially nice once you get has the them. same as, as the uh, Ace as well, so. Yeah, once you hit level five on the Shadow Fiend, there's no issue in getting up farm. They're not making stacks for him though. What's Queen of Pain uh, trying to do? 
It's just losing out on level and experience right now. She's gonna go for a gank on top. It shouldn't be too hard to kill a lower dance at least, but... It's kind of questionable to go for this gank though, because you're bringing up two to kill two. Like, you should try to kill more. And there's a sentry that she's about to walk through, yeah. That has been circled by someone. Must have been you. But I'll <laughs> you can only see my drawings. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can see the other people's too. There's gonna be a charge onto Aloha Dons and the screen. That should be enough, but Light Striker, he hits them both. Flag Cat is doing a lot of damage. Pop needs to blink away. She does get the blink. Here comes the cost, but now Mosca risked taking a lot of damage. Queen of Pain needs to heal up before she can do anything. And here comes the Night Stalker. Queen of Pain doesn't have blink. 15 second cooldown on that level one. That's ridiculous. Spirit Breaker goes down as well. And Master Risk. Master, Master Risk probably gonna die. Yeah, he eats one of those mangoes. It's gonna be a very dead Master Risk. What seemed to be a good start for Bulk and Bears in that uh, little engagement goes suddenly very south. Yeah, this. They, they saw him rotate in and already backed off a little bit. Took a little bit more space and his resolution was just able to teeper in. They just start clearing up. Was no, it was not, wasn't enough mana for uh, Spirit Breaker to charge away. So definitely. They have Sonic Wave. Yeah, they're gonna go for uh, for Yoki here. No one is close enough to uh, to help him. Yeah, he's gonna die. Here. Sonic Wave is gonna get popped, and there you go. Last uh, nice hit here from Noya. Even a bash. Also a nice good rotation, right? And you no fear here on bot. Also dead. Uh, I completely missed what happened there. It looks like Slithering Crush plus Grave Chill and Soul Assumption maybe too much yeah, room to handle. Much. <laughs> So, the other thing that I think was really nice about that mid gank, right? One, the Shadow Fiend had been getting a lot of farm, but two, Spirit Breaker just had a rough time in top, you know? Don't just go straight back up there, maybe get a kill first. So. Yeah, he's not level 6, so in the end he really didn't commit anything of it. So yeah. it's just a charge and he did from base, so it didn't even cost any mana. Just keeping up the pressure on Yoki is something that I have to keep on doing from now on. His resolution and now is also suddenly. Spirit Breaker, who, you, you you know, you wasn't... Well, I wasn't expecting him to get much farm or experience in this lane. He's level 5, almost 6. So, um, that mid gank certainly helping him out a lot. Same time, Bane is now stacking up the jungle. So... I'm a bit is... worried how they're going to do that. Oh, Sun gets another kill. Spirit Breaker overstaying his welcome. But yeah, just to finish up my thought, I'm kind of worried on how they're going to do it, because both Silent as well as Yoki are both... Uh, well, the Shadow Fiend and Gyrocopter are both heroes that are going to go into the jungle and farm it up. So. Oh, you generally, yeah, the Gyro can't take the stacks as early as the Shadow Fiend can. Shadow Fiend can take stacks as early as level 5. He usually waits till 7 for maxed raise, but it's... It's acceptable that he uh, does them now, and it just accelerates his farm later game. The gyro will be opposed to one wanting to Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, but it will cost his life. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Let's hit yeah, yeah. No, what? Oh, Ooh, the stick he charge. He up. Yeah, oh. really well played on the stick charge. If he can get out here, that's so worth it. I think it's worth it even if he doesn't get out here. They're they trying to cut him, him off, him. but. Yeah. So he's going to be fine, even if they see him. Will the raise hit? Oh, no, he might actually get death. Will the no. max raise? No, the beautiful coconut bounces. There's the cooldown, though. He's going to pay with his life. Can walk him anything here? She doesn't have Sonic Wave for 8 seconds, she needs to blink away, but she blunked up to where Gyrocopter is, and that wasn't where she wanted to go. So, yeah, Silent picks um, it up, just casually waiting there for the next person to come up. They might just try for a push or actually go for more, nope. as Resolution Most is now in the back. Ace gets yeah, up there for damage, but... He's actually trying to body block up Ace. Ace, I think, will go down here as well. There are Razors coming in. He gets a Slithering Crush. He's still sprinting, though. You take extra damage. They have a little bit more. The sprint's over. One more raise, No, off the mark. Now they're charging in on Noki, but this is a charge into four. I don't think this is going to work out in their favor. Visage, Rise still following around. Trying to see if he can do anything. The look at it go already comes out. Monster Risk goes down elsewhere. I didn't see that. It looks like he TP'd in to try and get something and into this tier 3, and now they're just gonna back out again. Yeah, it's 3v4. Oh, the Nether Strike hit. Nopia gonna take a lot of damage, but stop looking into the, uh, the Requiem of Souls, and finally Yoki will go down, but taking a lot of heroes with him, that was not worth it. In the end, uh, yeah, Danish Bears do win it, although they lost 3 for 2. It's because they're a little bit behind, they still in the end favor there, but that this Requiem of Souls wind up there, they just completely blinked into it, Got thrown three shadow raises on top of their head, and they just completely melted. In the end, Not just the only spear breaker able to survive. Also, Night Stalker got five kill involvements in that first night. That's fantastic for him, right? That's the start he wanted and needed, and he did get it. So, this game just getting harder for our lineup of Danish bears. They didn't even die on him. 
Is it gonna get the Lina here, a lower dance, but Noia is gonna be the sacrificial lamp for it. In the end, it's an okay trade for uh, for Empire. Yeah, uh, I think both teams are happy with that trade just because Danish Bears all behind. Mm -hmm. um, and Empire, of course, don't mind giving up a support for an offlaner. So Actually, it's both sides... a hit for Danish Bears in the hard cap. Yeah, and that's why they're fine with it. But at the same time, you're probably on Empire just like, whatever, it's a support. So Either way, things going to Comet, cool it for a while. And yeah, uh, I think next night time will be when we see some more aggression. Monster Risk actually throwing the coconuts at Resolution. Not quite sure what was up with that. Nobody was around to follow up, so... Yes, Full Mana. Maybe... <laughs> this is full reason. Mana, also, <laughs> if you can trick them into thinking they have to back, maybe he doesn't get as much space. Uh, he's rotating out already. He's uh, most likely going to sell Stout Shield or something else and get the Energy Booster. Ah, there you go. Everybody on Danish Bears, though, so underfarmed compared to uh, Empire. Just not, not feeling great for them. Yeah, th they were still a little bit caught off guard there with the double lane. And but that was that is just not something they were expecting, especially not on how well it went. And then the rotation out at four or five minutes, it's they got caught with the pants down a little bit. As they're now going to find Riser in the jungle. Oh, this damage is real. Oh, and this aim misses, but resolution. I think is already the urn has there. enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he ticks out from sure. the urn. So. And that's... Uh, his familiars do get away, though. It would have been go. really bad if he lost them, because it's 100 seconds. But they pop the night time, and now Rockless? all of this vision super limited for Danish bears. They might just take the mid-tower. I thought they were going to go on Quap, but she is hard to find. She should be able to blink over. No, she's going to get silenced up. Why did she stay there? She actually auto-attacked, and there's the fiend's grip. She's going down. The familiars are going to maybe get the kill on Aloha Dance, but that is not worth it. Oh, Aloha Dance gets messed up. He's still not dead. He finally goes down, but here is the cooldown. This is going to kill off Slaughter, and also... Oh, actually does miss. This is the Spirit Breaker on that second pick. The Nightmare, uh, very interesting interaction there. But the Flag Cannon, will it get the Spirit Breaker? One more Flag. Oh, yes. no, he's regenning up with the Mojo. Oh, Earn. one more auto attack. All the Urn. I don't know what the Spirit Breaker is. The Spirit Breaker is probably going down. They pick off Witch Doctor as well. Rise is just, like, trying to fight them in their base. I don't want to say it's already over, but you know something's going on with your team when they're diving Tier 3s at 12 minutes in. And we're at a 10,000 net deficit. Yeah, this seems cool. like the first day of Empire all over again, though. Then his beers are getting kills in comparison to the other teams. Yeah. And it's very odd because, you know, Danish Bears did have a hard route to get here. They beat quite a few good teams, but Empire just, I guess, um, BR. kind of funny. BR is because a strong Empire... team. They played really well. Yeah. They did have a little bit of trouble in some of their games in the early game, but they can bring it all back, you know? So. Um, either way, we yeah, this is are gonna just be an gonna easy have rush a... here. Yeah, really favorable presence of the dog lord always making your rush on super easy. And I also kind of love this super early mech on. Uh, a lot. Sometimes shadow fiends go the Sandin Yasha, Sometimes they go the mech. It usually depends on team comp. But here he got it so early. That's why his team could go so ham in that previous engagement. Oh, they're gonna go after Simon mid here in mid though. though. Yeah, he's gonna go they down. Resolution it. needs to run. <laughs> he came in though, now he's taking a lot of damage. There's the bashes and they managed to take him off too. This is huge for Danish Bears and there shouldn't be any more rotations. Even if there were, the TPs would take years. So Danish Bears getting two nice pickoffs and that's a almost three over 3k gold swing. So, okay, um, getting Danish... away here with Murder. They barely, they don't see the, uh, the side of Empire just yet. So they were able to at least pause it before they were seen so it's not completely sure on where exactly from the river to mid they are yeah yeah empire aren't being too nice today yeah i think they're just a bit impatient you know um they just had, a, they had, this, they had an hour game before this one against uh, Power Rangers, really back and forth. Yeah, right. So. And that game was pretty intense, right? It yeah. felt like Power Rangers had a chance to get back in it. So I can understand being pretty stressed about it all and um, just wanting to get this over with. Empire, of course, most people, I think, think they would have been invited if not for the... Uh, at least in the, into the qualifiers and maybe the main Yeah, fans, but they got their but... roster. They got Yeah, they had a roster change, so they're not yep. allowed to be invited. So... Um, well, that's their own choice in the end, or at least the choice of one of the players, so. They're yeah. gonna be stuck with that. 
So. And while it is their own choice, I completely understand, right? Uh, I do like that the mages are trying to lock in rosters, but I also understand sometimes you just need a change. And after their TI run, I can understand them saying, hey, some folks need a break or whatever. Yeah, some of them, yeah. I, 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 yeah damn, I should have probably known what, which players they were switching out. I think Goldblack le left, but I'm not completely sure. Yeah, Goldblack is playing on a different team. So basically, Yoki came back to play. Mm -hmm. I was a bit confused because he's not a player I I've seen him play a bit it was I actually didn't fun know. they threw out Goldblack in the tournament they actually won from them with Priest against Priest yeah. today or yesterday yeah mm. and then they brought in Nofia who I know nothing about I don't know if you know more about Nofia I hadn't heard of him before uh, me neither I've, I've read uh, my chats have been posting things about everybody in, in Empire but I don't know. My my get my brain is slowly getting yeah, fried. So. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. For me, it was like super early morning to wake up for these games, and then I'm gonna take a quick nap, and then I'll be right back on America's stuff. No, so. I'm I'm just doing um, the road for Empire to the uh, Frankfurt Major. Are they like, your favorite team? No, I just decided to do like a show like that. Next time is gonna be uh, Monkey Freedom Ooh. Fighters. Okay, that was a bit. Weird. They said go, but one of their team DC. <laughs> um, like you can see it in the chat. They said go, and then yeah. the Shadow Fiend DCs, and I'm like, come on, guys, let's 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 all be calm. Let's see who is impossing this one. Yoki, yeah, okay, okay. Just a weird disconnect yeah. there. Though so they're actually still going in. They actually see Aloha Dance doesn't manage to make it latch. No, it was Yoki that they had vision off the screen. Barely latching, I think. Balkan, uh, not Balkan. Danish bears maybe overstaying their welcome here. They have to be very careful. Yeah, you took a team fight, but you don't want to just give it up. And uh, now there's gonna be the light strike of a Laguna Blade should finish him off. No, he's got a tiny slither of health, and the tower will get the last hit. And Spirit Breaker, uh, Noya, just way overstaying his welcome there. Yeah, they tried to do it. And it was maybe also a little bit of a problem that uh, Queen of Plain Calculus was actually going away from his team to go yeah. after the Shadow Fiend who he just poked and then had to run away himself before even really doing anything to each other. Yeah, you have to be really careful. This Queen is a bit under leveled so she doesn't have max blink yet and the cooldown just... If one bad move, she'll die. Also, not having... Also, using your ultimate... I don't think she killed one, someone with the no. this year. Uh, no, she did no. actually. It was in the earlier engagement oh, yeah, yeah, where they got yeah. two kills. before that, yeah. So. Uh, oh yeah, it's one but it's so long about. cooldown because yeah, she doesn't have ags, so she's nowhere near. Oh, ags Blink is off cooldown now. Ah, uh, just one race. Oh. Oh. He's yeah. faster, right? Three ninety, yeah. He could have actually yeah. uh, killed her. He could he have just killed her. Up. He probably didn't realize that Blink was off cooldown, no. but yeah, as you pointed out, like it's one bad positioning right there. She could have died. Um, they're they're missing some defensive boards. They have a nice offensive one here in mid to make sure that they can go push out for Danish bears, of course, and a nice. Uh, Lane ward, which I try try to place as one well in the beginning of the match. In comparison yeah. to the aggressive wards coming out from uh, from Empire, it's just seeing everything around middle. Not only that, like Radiant's they have tower. barely, they it's finally placed attack. another one in mid. But having barely any vision at this point in the game, when you're playing with a script breaker, monster, monster risk. I can't believe he got out there. It was that, very that close. is all pathing there. Yeah, the void. He also. Not not just Paul thing, the creeps were there, it was a lot, but I thought Night Stalker for sure would get that void off. In the meantime, they're gonna push up top. Um, let's do a quick look over items to see if anything big has come out. Sanjin Yasha is gonna be finished soon on Yoki. We've also got Glimmer Cates in the works for a couple people, but no fear, other than no that... Options, no. I think yeah. a lot of them should um, just go for use. Uh, yeah, it's pretty common, even on the support Lena, to see Yules. Although, I have seen also some folks decide to rush Ags. Um, I think she'll go Yules, it makes a lot of sense here. Yeah, there yeah. is a blink up on Slaughter, and that's another reason to go Yules. Yeah, no, it's a purge of the Amplified Damage, so... Purge of Amplified Damage, if Co-op goes Orchid, of course, it helps there. Also, just, it, it's instant cost points, so if somebody blinks in on you, you can always cost it uh, before yeah, nice they get off the Slytherin right Crush. Yep, Spirit Breaker too. And you the just want more reasons. disables against Witch Doctor. You just want to have more, always more. Have anything to stop that uh, Death Ward from channeling. Death Ward. 
He has just hit level 6, by the way, though, and he did get changed in the Lost patch. He now really needs the Aghanim Scepter because it doesn't bounce at all without the Aghanim Scepter. It did get a damage buff, but at level 3, it no longer naturally bounces, so... Yeah, it's not the biggest change, though. It depends on how long you can I think it just makes... It. It's, it's annoying. Yeah, it yeah. just makes the Ags better. Yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Yeah, Calculus is gonna stop this stack from happening anyway. I think they're too late, anyhow. Are they? Not only too late, he can't even snatch it or anything. I mean, yeah, you could use the song. He's only level 10. He's not going to snatch it, he's just stopping it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Maybe setting something this... up, but this team is not close. Oh, I think he's in the danger zone. His invis is about to expire. And he. Oh, he actually got a bunch of them. I thought he was going to go for the steal. And what's really nice about also going for the steal is experience isn't shared anymore on that. So he actually got a bunch of those and he denied the experience to Empire. So. Nice little pick for our Queen of Pain. But then your question is, is it worth it? Just pre-level 11, not that it matters for your cooldown, of course, but still, it's... This means it's that you can't wait, fight right? for like a minute or two minutes even. Yeah, 100% agree with that. You have to be careful when you use that before your Aghanim. But it looks like from his team's rotations, Danish Bear's not really wanting to fight right now, so... Still weird for him to do some like that. I think, you know, if you decide, especially looking at the clock, you can say, hey, it's not nighttime for a while. Maybe it's not ideal to fight right away. No. I'm wondering when BKBs will start coming out. It feels oh. like Slaughter could get one. Oh, actually, he's going on silent, silent, uh, but I don't think he can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> especially then, with Sprint active. There are too many people nearby as well as... Uh, they can't take a team fight, so it's just as easy as that. They can't take it anyway. If you want to go for a pick up, you have to go for something like a lower dance like this. And they're doing it, and she's gonna go down. I was a little bit worried that Night Stalker would come in and stop that. Nah, they learned a lesson from previous time. No saving teammates. <laughs> so either way, uh, nice clean pick up. They're still really far behind though on Danish bears. They're now over 1,200 gold behind and 10,000 experience. It just feels like they don't have online what they need to take a team fight five on five. Yeah, you're pretty much just one set of items away on your supports, on your course, so... It's... Yeah, this is... Uh, they're just a little bit too far behind. Especially when you use, again, if you use Sonic Waves and stuff like that for getting things like that, make sure that you can fight, or that you could take a fight, but still, it's it's not gonna work out. Especially now a Resolution has a... Uh, an item's already completed. So, they just want jam away from destroying all uh, map control for Danish Spears. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that a little, like, we're seeing these items, actually, Yoki doesn't go Sanja Nyasha, he goes Manta, and as you mentioned, already the Ags, and once one of the supports buys him a gem, Re Resolution will see everything. So, uh, this item progression just dominating on Empire, and I think that's, I mean, that's just what you get with the 10,000 net worth lead, right? Yeah, you're just gonna be ahead, and you're not gonna give it up, and yeah, oh they got vision of this. Oh, they actually do stop at Noska, risk getting away. Will we finally see the first death ward of the game? We do on resolution, but he is tanky. The Sonic Wave finishing him off. Queen of Pain getting herself involved, but she needs to run. Her blink is on cooldown still. Three more seconds. She should be able to get away without dying here. There is the follow-up, though. Maybe they can go on Yogi. Maybe she can do some. She's not close enough to screen. She gets into the screen, but he pops the Manta. Nofia now taking a lot of damage. There are the Razors. They have to play this carefully. I think Nofia 100% going down. Ace seeing if he can get somebody else. He, I think, meant to blink there. Yeah, there was a... Miss blink timing, but still, they got this amazing fight over here. Forcing yeah. No Fear to get out of the Fiend Script and walking back there with the uh, blink with Ace, that's, that's big. Then getting off a nice Death Ward to kill off uh, Resolution, that just makes the entire night time of Fences go away. They're still going in, I don't know whether this is an overextension. Laguna Blade coming out on Ace while he has that sprint up, but he just wanders away. Can Spirit Breaker fare the same way? Oh gosh, there are creeps that see him, he needs to keep running, his own charge is procked up, I think he's dead. But at least yeah. he drew them away from the rest of his team, you know? Yeah, that was a little bit of overaggression. That's just being a little bit overzealous over there. There was still Laguna and other ultimate salt, not everything was used. If they went even further, they would have also had another Requiem of Souls on top of them as well as the, the heroes yeah. that came back, so... And you have to be careful because they do have a medallion up on Lena. Actually, kind of surprised, but you want a medallion on one of your supports, and the Bane it looks to be going uh, Glimmer Cape, so you get it on the Lena, I guess. Getting Solar Crestnor is going to be really, really funny, at least for the uh, 
for the slaughter. Whoever he tries to go on with amplified damage gets pretty much nullified as well as gets an evasion chance. Yeah. It's gonna be so hard for I've... him to deal with. Yeah, they don't have... I mean, Sonic Wave is pure damage, but it's not a lot, is the thing. It's not something like a Laguna Blade where it takes one target out, of course, being advantageous because it is an AoE, but... It's gonna be hard to start taking these heroes down. Shadow Fiend, if he actually puts his boots on Treads, uh, on Strength, is quite tanky, and so... Gyrocopter, I think he will go Sanjin Yasha and not Monta, I'm not sure though. Um, he will also tank up a lot. Yeah, Yoki's so, just getting his, uh, his BKB now. I think Gyrocopter should be doing the same fairly soon. Just getting the your BKBs. The Night Stalker gem is up. Yeah, they got oh. it now. I would probably put down the stick in the base for a little bit and just get a Quelling Blade or some Tangos just to be able to deward uphill on your own. Just some nice interaction wouldn't be used for that, but... Now he's with his team again. Because he firstly, he rotated through the jungle, so... Getting a ward with zero seconds. Yeah, he's gonna get called out for this. Yeah, he's, he, this is a dead oh. resolution. His team can't help. I'm really surprised by that because it's nighttime. He has so much vision and that's actually a big problem, right? He's got... they got the gem. Yeah, like, he was able to use it for like one second or so. And the worst part is, Gem is on a cooldown and eight more minutes before they can do this, like, Gem strat. I... Must, must I just really... drop this Gem in base instantly. Yeah. And I think that's the right play, right? They have no need to be giving it up. Maybe if they go as five men to, like, smoke and de all the gems. I've seen that played before. Yeah, just use it for... You could use it uh, before... Uh... Before you go aggressive, just sweep your own jungle and maybe your Aces or something. As Ace is actually going to go for Yoki. Because of Amplified Damage, but it gets pretty much just turned around as aggressive. Oh. Not even an aggressive blink in, just an instant Fiend script on him before he could do anything. And that's the power of this uh, Bane against the Quap. Not much she can do against all of the lockdown. So, unfortunately, they got a good, you know, they had one good team fight, and then Empire is like, no, we are, we are still um, dominating this game. Yeah, they're not gonna Speaking. give up anything. They're gonna keep them going. Yep. There you go, straight into Rush with Solar Crest on. Crest of yeah, the Dark Lord is there again. So easy, look at, yeah, just going down super fast. And with the Solar Crest up, it's what you mentioned before. They're tanky on Empire, and with BKBs, your magic damage isn't gonna work, so you can't hit them either with the Solar Crest. Like, it is rough. Yeah, they're just all we, ready for it. They could just wanna massage. get, like, one or two pickoffs and go high ground. Massage looks to be finishing the Ags before. I'm not sure whether he just picked up the point booster for health. We'll see if he finishes the Solar Crest before the Ags. I would kind of prefer to see him finish that Solar Crest just because it amps up his birds. And with the amp damage from Slaughter, it feels like it could really pick people off quickly. Yeah, that, it will do a lot more. Did they just use a dust? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. We're shocked to just blew a random dust in his base. Gold remains. Probably Anyhow. a misclick. Yeah, that's a misclick. But yeah, they uh, they need to get a solar crest, e even if it's just to even it out, or to uh, yeah, that's not gonna. Oh my work. goodness, can they actually see her here? Okay, they can't quite see her. She just needs to TP. Yeah. Yeah, and she is TPing. So. You're still trying. I thought for a second they could see her all the way there. Um, he couldn't quite get close enough just because the trees are a bit deep. Yeah, they need to uh, they need just they just need a solar crest for themselves. Even though if you get an axe, it doesn't really matter. It's not the biggest thing against uh, Gyrocopter. You can still mop them up with Flak Cannon. Still works. Yep. And now they're just looking to push this tier 2. It's one of those things as well that with the Aegis, you usually get these free tier 2s because your opponents don't want to engage. They're actually maybe thinking about taking mid tower. They'll get this, but their push is going to be much slower and they have to TP back. Yeah, because I don't think Empire cares that much if they lose a tier 2 for the, for the enemy tier 3. That's fine. Also, on that note, Empire don't really care that much if the game goes on for another 20 minutes. What's Empire, what's uh, Danish Bears gonna do against them? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It felt like something, a lineup with a Visage and a Quap and a Slaughter should maybe have better chances as it goes later. But I think in this case, Empire is just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. And they'll start picking up stuff like ACs eventually, right? And then a lot of the amp damage benefits go down the drain. As well as when your opponents. There's just not a strong late game carry anyhow on the side of Danish Bears. Who Empire I don't, have I, don't multiple. I feel like Slaughter and Quap maybe could do something, but I really don't know. You know, I as uh, we said during the drop, Queen, I Queen haven't seen a Slaughter off. carry. 
Like, Slard Slardar is nice if you can stay on someone. Later in the game, you're gonna have BKB, it's gonna be Windle down. You're gonna get sides, you're, you're against ranged heroes. All those kind of they things. They have the Nightmare and they're going on Quap. They stop her TP with the Void, and she is just dead. Yeah, that's not gonna work. As well, like she maybe Calculus. Zero vision. Yeah, not yes. only the Zero Vision, but maybe feeling. You know those games where the players are like, oh, there's nobody get Falm here, I have to play more aggressively than I should? It feels like that's how Calculus is playing. It is. It just doesn't work against a lineup that's actually pretty mobile at the moment with the Night Stalker there. They're just not feeling the the pressure coming out from Danish players, which they should have had for the last 20 minutes or so. Yeah, they're gonna try and go for Yoki, but what does not matter? He has Nagus. Yeah, and now he's just gonna work on this tower, taking. Um, you'd think he'd take more damage, but uh, only the amp damage on him because they had the reverse solar and the front, like both solar. Crests yeah, also on the press run. <laughs> So, pretty cute. For how long is the Aegis still up? Still for a small two minutes. They're actually jumping in. They're going in on Aloha Dance. I think this is a very dead Lina. I wasn't even looking at it. I wasn't expecting someone to be alone there. At least not without Aegis. That's, yeah, just that's caught a move. little bit out of position. And that... Yeah. I agree with you. It's a bit weird. Mm, there's a miscommunication. If they want to use something, somebody else's bait, still use uh, Yoki. How obvious it might be. Just, just use okay. her. Is the mass so both uh, Yoki and Silent have gone Montas? Is that to get rid of amp damage or the shadow strike or what? Because I uh, have and, not. And damage stays on it. Uh, might right. be for uh, the coconut to force it to take more bounces, as well as okay. uh, the death ward. Uh, it also goes on illusions. Yeah, Death Ward. I forgot about Death Ward Illusion Interaction. So maybe that's it. But yeah, I was really confused because I was like, I thought Amp Damage went through. I think Shadow Strike is the only thing you can purge off here. Um, charge goes through. Oh, uh, kills. Aggressive oh. Blink. Oh gosh, will he get out? Yeah, yeah. the void. He's no! Oh no, Fiend. the Fiend's gripped! Oh my goodness, poor Calculus is caught again. Oh yeah. They're not having a good game. And now they're going to push down that mid, like... Without calculus, I don't know what their odds are. She's been picked up back to back there. She is two and seven. Yeah, then you know you're having a really shitty time. That's this not the place you want to be. I think tilt might be a little bit of a factor. I don't want to say it, but either way, this is going to put down the oh, They actually managed to pick up the Glimmer Cape coming out way too late. And um, they're still going to get this tower, I think, though. They don't seem to even care that Resolution is down. They have a resummon on the Bizarre Book, but they're the BKB Silent now. Going to go ham, drop the cooldown as well. They actually might be able to kill up Aloha Dons and Nokia. Picking up those heroes in the back line at the same time, Witch Doctor goes down. Bry is taking a lot of damage. Can they get Aloha Dons? They need to finally pick her up. No. Spirit Breaker blows up. Earth. So a really good hold without the Quap. They do manage to get her, but they might lose their ranged racks. They need to get them off of that racks. The illusions come out. Just gonna keep working that on takes it. Amplify damage off. Okay. I thought it was okay, still I... there. Well, uh, yeah, it. I don't know all of these interactions yet. We'll, uh, we're finding out though, and they're gonna get out. Um, I still think a good push from Empire. Kind of unfortunate that. Oh, Aegis expired in that fight. Yeah, it did. That's actually really bad because you want to use it effectively. I think if they had pushed a little bit earlier, you can use the Aegis to secure the racks. Dyer's bottom tower has been yeah, if this still but it's still okay. You get at least a tier three, some damage on the range racks. Yeah, you lose some, but in the end, you, you don't have to be two faced. You don't. You're, it, just look at the net worth. It's not really anything that goes up XP a bit, but it's all pretty nominal. There's nothing really for them to be scared about. And I said, they have the late game, so they can always just keep on farming. It's just waiting for something. Night Stalker is going to get his, uh, his BKB soon as well. No fear. It's not really close to anything, so it doesn't matter too much. Yoki, what does he get? Uh, it's going to be Skadi soon. Let's see. No fear. Oh, no fear is actually going to go for a flat. Almost has it as well. Yeah, I like the pickup. Um, I've been seeing this. Empire has been doing this a lot. They actually, in the last game, they had the early Vlads from the Doom, and then they had finally the Wyvern, I believe, picked up a Vlad. And they're going to run straight into Monster Risk. I mean, oh goodness, if the Slaughter comes in, he's just going to die too. He actually does go in. I don't think he Fiend realized script. it was all four. Immediately Fiend script up and Ace, a bit of a mistake there. He thought he could save his teammate and should have realized that was a smoke rotation. 
Yeah, that's not worth it at all. Yeah, the problem is that he needs to try it because hey, that was a gem. Now the gem is back to the Night Stalker. I think it's his own. It's even his own, yeah. And instead, they're gonna start working on pushing this. This tower, uh, the racks going down. They're also gonna be taking some damage on the melee. Knight uh, does come in with a slithering crush on the slaughter. There's a BKB out, but oh goodness, the side wave barely hits anyone. Just the silent gyrocopter, and now he's doing so much damage to them. I think this might just be game one. Yeah, this is gonna be game one. There's no chance that they're gonna defend this. They had to put people by They don't have any more tier it. twos. And there you go, Ace yeah. calls it. So, we will be getting into the second game here right quick, I think. I yeah. don't wanna. S <laughs> yep. Yeah. There we go. Not, not looking the best uh, for Empire, or I mean for Danish Bears, but we know they have more to give. We've seen them play pretty well before. I've... Well, they had to have played pretty well to get to this point, right? Uh, I don't know. So... <laughs> I really don't <laughs> no, know. they did, because they beat out people who beat HR and so on. So, like, they had a rough road as well. Either way, we'll be getting right into this. I'm going to take a quick drink bathroom break, because um, I imagine the lobby will take forever to start. Yeah, maybe take some time indeed. Oh, yeah, this was indeed the. Uh, this is just for the VOD for me, anyhow. Uh, this was the first game in Danish Bears vs uh, Team Empire here in the road. For Team Empire to the Frankfurt Major, make sure to stay tuned for the next game. <laughs> 